Today, I'm going to show you what I think is the best possible option for cell service while you're sailing on a cruise ship or traveling internationally. Hi, I'm Chad, and like you, I like to stay connected wherever I am in the world. Options for connectivity are very limited when you're on a cruise, and the Wi-Fi service will run you somewhere between $250 to $500 for a seven-day cruise, and they will only provide you with minimal service. Also, if you don't know the details of your cell provider's plan, you could get home to a really hefty phone bill. So I'm gonna show you what I think is the best option to avoid this and give you consistent connectivity, not only when you're on the ship, but also when you go to port and if you leave to go on any excursions while you're on your cruise. If you have a newer cell phone, your phone most likely supports a newer feature and utilizing this feature is what makes all of this possible. And I'm gonna show you the details of that today. Before I say anything else about this, I wanna mention that there's another option coming down the road that is going to change everything for international travelers. It's too early to discuss now because it's not a done deal. But as soon as confirmation is given that this company is going to do this, then I'll come back and make a video and provide more details on it. So subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more about this and content like this. In the meantime, if you have a trip coming up now, then the option that I'm gonna talk about today is what you will wanna use. So I'm going to introduce you to something called an eSIM. They are a fantastic and inexpensive way to get data while you're traveling internationally. No physical SIM, no contract. So it's really the best of both worlds, and it's probably something that most of you've not heard about. So we're going to look at a company called GigSky, which is a provider of eSIMs that are popular among travelers, and especially cruisers, because they offer cellular at sea services. By cellular at sea, I mean you're getting cell phone coverage out at sea when there are no land towers in your area. This video is not sponsored by GigSky. I just think that they have a really good product for a really good price and I wanted to share this information with you. GigSky offers some really competitive packages. You can pay a daily rate for as cheap as $17 a day for one gig. You can go to a seven day package, which would be good for most cruises, or you can go to a 15 day package, which offers three gigabytes. Now, if you consume a lot of data and you're like, well, one gigabyte's not really gonna last me a week, I would just go ahead and buy the 15 day package for $60, which would give you the three gigabytes. You can use those three gigabytes on your seven day cruise, and you're not gonna be charged any extra. You're just using it in a shorter period of time. GigSky also allows you to monitor your data usage and it tells you how much you have left and you can add more in the app. And we'll talk more about that when we get into the app. If GigSky is something that you want to consider for your next cruise, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can get right there. Also, there's more information on their site about what cruise lines and specifically what ships offer the cellular at sea service because it is ship specific, but most likely your ship is going to be included in that if you travel on one of the major cruise lines. If you're not a technical person, that's okay, because GigSky has made this really easy, and I've tried to simplify it as much as possible in this video as I go through a step-by-step -step process of buying an eSIM, installing it, and then activating it on my phone. So let's go jump into it now. So here we are at the Apple App Store, and we're just going to go in and do a search for the GigSky app. And here we go. While that's downloading, let me give you a brief description of what an eSIM is. An eSIM is a digital SIM card. The E stands for embedded, so that makes that easy. But it is essentially a digital chip that is in place of the physical chip that we used to insert into our phones. Instead, it's built right into the phone and it allows us access to multiple networks. It does all the same things as a physical SIM, but it's digital. 
now in the Gig Sky app, and I don't allow anything to track me. And yes, I want to allow notifications. And it brings us to the home screen. Now, the first thing we're going to have a look at is Gig Sky Cruise Plus package. And we're just going to search for a cruise line. Let's search for Royal Caribbean. And you can see here that it gives you three options. The first option is for 512 megabytes for one day for $17. One gigabyte over a seven day period for $29.74. And three gigabytes over a 15 day period for $59.49. So what you will want to do is to create an account using your name, your email address, and create a password. Once you create that account, then you'll reach the point where you can go log in. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. And you can see now, once you're logged in and you've chosen the 512 megabyte Cruise Plus package, which I'm actually getting ready to buy just for the purposes of this video, even though... I'm sitting at home in the Midwest. I'm going to buy this package and I'm going to test it from here and I'm going to make sure everything works as it should. But you can see there's a, currently a 15% discount, which brings my total to $16.99. So this is for cellular at sea and you also get cell coverage while you're on land at port and when you go to excursions. So I have entered my credit card information and as you can see the transactions in progress and I also got 85 cents in GigSky credit to apply to a future transaction. It's simply now going to ask me to name this device and of course I'm just going to name it my iPhone. You can name it anything you would like and it shows my Cruise Plus package with 512 megabytes for one day. Now at this point the eSIM is not yet installed and we're going to go through that process next. So we will choose to install eSIM here. And yes, we want to install the eSIM. There will be a couple steps here where it's processing and I'm going to move quickly through these. And now that it's ready, we'll hit continue. And we want to allow to activate the new eSIM. Now, you have to have a very stable internet connection in order to activate this eSIM. If you were to drop your internet connection, your Wi-Fi connection at this time, this eSIM may be disabled or not be able to be used. And you would have to go to GigSky uh, to try to get it replaced. We don't want to have to deal with that, so just make sure that you are on a good, stable connection. I suggest Wi-Fi and not cellular at this time. And now it's connecting to the network and the cellular setup is complete. Now, this is an important point. As we go through this, you're going to see some options of primary or travel, which is what the GigSky eSIM is going to show up at at this point because we labeled it travel in earlier in the process. Now we are going to set the default line, but keep in mind, we're only going to set the default line when this eSIM is actually being used. You're not setting the GigSky eSIM as your default line all of the time, just when it's being used. So we will choose primary for this selection. And then iMessage and FaceTime, we will also choose primary and hit continue. And then yet again, when we get to cellular data, we will choose primary. But also, it's extremely important at this point that the allow cellular data switching option is turned off. If you were to have this option turned on at this time, that would allow your phone to switch back and forth between your GigSky eSIM and your normal carrier SIM which would cause you to have international roaming charges on your bill when you get home. So just make sure that allow switching is turned off. So now your GigSky eSIM is installed, but it's not activated yet. Now you will want to wait to activate this until you are at the port on embarkation day on the ship and ready to pull out. You want to make sure that you get the very most out of this eSIM as possible. So 
Don't start it until you absolutely need to. Also note that there's gonna be a little bit of a transition period between the point from when you turn your old, old one off and you turn your new one on, which I'm getting ready to show you how to do. So again, remember, don't do this until you are actually ready to activate it, but here's the process that you'll go through. You'll go back into settings, and then you'll go to cellular, and then you'll go to cellular data. Now you can see that my primary eSIM is chosen. That's the eSIM for my cellular provider. Now I'm gonna switch this over to the travel eSIM, which is the GigSky eSIM. That alone is going to activate this. Now there's gonna be about a 15 or 20 minute period where it's going to disconnect and reconnect the towers. So you'll just need to be patient because this could take several minutes. But once that reconnects, then you are using the GigSky eSIM. Now that it's activated, very quickly, go back one level in the menu to the cellular and then uncheck all of the apps that you have installed on your phone that you do not want to use cellular data. So for me, I've got probably 200 apps on my phone, so I'm gonna go through and unselect all of the ones except for the ones that I want to use cellular data. I might leave things like Facebook or Gmail or my calendar. Obviously, your phone service is going to be available. Messages will still be available. But you're just wanting to make sure that these apps aren't going behind your back, if you will, and, uh, and using the data that you just paid for. So just take the few minutes and go and unselect the ones that you want to shut down. Now, if you're going on a seven-day cruise, you should choose the seven-day option rather than the one-day option that I chose. But even then, if you run out of data, you can go here in the app and top up your account, meaning that you can add additional data to your account. But you're going to want to top up before you run out of data. Because if you run out of data, or if your time has expired, then you will not have connectivity to, to top up. And in that case, you would have to connect to your normal cellular provider and have international roaming charges. So you really have to monitor your data usage in the GigSky app to see how much is left and just start calculating in your head how much time you think you have left. You can just hop up a single day if you bought a seven day cruise just to give you another 512 megabytes to get you through the end or however much more you need. Okay, so it's late at night, a day later after I made the purchase of this eSIM, and I just wanted to check back in to tell you how it went. Again, full disclosure, I am at home in the Midwest. I'm nowhere close to the ocean or a cruise ship, but this thing worked brilliantly. And of course, it just connected to my land-based towers. But I think it was a good proof of concept. I was satisfied with it, and... I think the install went smoothly, there were no hiccups, and it went exactly as I showed in the demonstration. So that is my experience using this at home for a 24 hour period. I'm hopeful that you found value in today's video and that GigSky will work for you and that your phone supports it and that these instructions were thorough enough for you to feel confident in doing this because it's really a pretty easy process. Just go back through and watch the video as many times as needed. If this was of value to you, just give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and other tips and tricks that we use as a big family to travel.